Hi guys, here Romy from Musa Musa Exo, this channel, and I wanted to share with you something that is my absolute passion, which is helping children be stronger, be more resilient, to believe in themselves, and to be healthy in mind and body. And so I'm gonna wear my dietitian hat first and my clinician hat first and remind everybody of how important nutrition is in terms of health of mind and body of a child. What you put inside of your body, the food that you take from the outside and you bring to the inner you, it's your contact with the outside world, transforming into energy and dividing the cells inside of your body, multiplying the cells inside of your body. That's the substrate, which is the food. Food is sacred and we don't really treat it that way around children. I think it's something that we need to consider and revise our rituals, our reverence around food and to, and to make them understand how that is making them. Food makes you, your thoughts make you too, but food makes you literally. You had this tiny liver when you were little and then it grows to this size with cellular division that comes from the food and the energy that you put from the outside. You bring it inside your body. Fully imagine how important that is. And so serving food to a child so that they eat, so that they grow, but there's no, there's no understanding of how crucial that is. I want to remind everybody that we focus sometimes so much on education and, and giving them the best education and sometimes not enough on the primary education, primordial education, which is you grow based on this food that comes from nature, the sun energy turning into food that you bring, it's, you're bringing basically the sun energy inside of you. And that is what happens cellular division in the whole of your body from your head, from your hair, to the tip of your toes, all of your organs happen because of that. That is important. That is sacred. And we have lost a lot of the reverence rituals and have created these fast habits around food. This is not a topic that I dominate at the personal level, but it's something that's on my radar because it's so important. I think it's so important, especially for mental health for children. People don't understand the association, but there's a big association between mental health, strength, and vitality, and low incidence of, of infections and disease and all of that, and nutrition, we know that. But just wanted to remind the parents that there are two pillars for the health and well-being based on my angle as a dietitian and as a evolutionary therapist like I like to call myself because that's my passion one thing is my career and the other one thing is my passion and what I see the most in my consult whether as a dietitian or as a therapist is troubles that originate in childhood because of habits and programming from childhood so two things that are important your habits around food and how you eat and how you understand what food and nutrition is and the recordings that you had from your environment, what you received, what you heard adult talk about and give importance to, what you heard adult, adults criticize or appreciate, and now they're part of your own programming. So if you're around a child, consider those two things, of how you treat food, your relationship with food, how you understand that the context of the health of your body and what you talk about, what you pay attention to, how you comment on things about yourself, about the things that you're unpacking, how you treat things, how you treat things is how, how you treat things and how you treat people is how they will absorb and understand that that's the way that it's done. Nothing new here. Just a reminder of our sacred job to guide, protect, and help other humans thrive 
all children are our children. Part of my many year practice is when I pray for my children or for any child or anybody, I pray for all of them. From the ones that are refugees to the ones that are the sons and daughters of like heads of state, I don't care. All children are our children, all deserve a ray of love in their heart. And they trust us so much. And so whatever we do, what, however we act, they think that's the correct way. And so just remind yourself of be aware, become conscious of how you treat and relate to food and how you treat and you relate to yourself and the things that you speak about in front of them, the things that you listen to in front of them, the things that you allow in front of them, it's what they will understand as normal and okay. And um, just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know if I did a good job at transmitting the message, but I hope that inspires you. Um, and I see you soon, bye.